Hey guys, Mike from Urban Automotive, Oakville, Ontario, Canada, here today to talk about air conditioning refrigerants and recovery systems and machines that are involved. Uh, a lot of, um, well, most modern day vehicles up to 2016 had one refrigerant, uh, 134 uh, being the refrigerant. Uh, it replaced the R12, the old style um, refrigerant that was used in the 70s and 80s. Very bad for the environment. Uh, did a lot of ozone damage, so they upgraded uh, the R12 to the 134. Um, a lot of shops obviously do the AC work. You do need to have a license to work on uh, air conditioning systems here in Ontario. Um, and uh, even though with the 134, you can go to Canadian Tire and buy these wonderful, basically propane cylinder cans that can charge your system uh, as a temporary repair for the system. Some would argue that it's a permanent repair, but it certainly is not. Um, with the 134, uh, a standard machine can be used, but with the uh, new refrigerant, you need a new, new machine because the fittings don't fit. Um, the difference between the new refrigerant and the R134 is the new refrigerant's more flammable and supposedly better for the environment, so they claim. So that's why most manufacturers in North America have gone to this new refrigerant um, as of 2016 model year and it is, R134 was completely phased out in 2021. So after 2021, all vehicles will now have the new refrigerant. So, I'm just going to show you our machine. So this is our Robin Air 134 refrigerant machine, doing its job right now on this beautiful Lexus. We've done an AC repair and uh, hooked it up, and it's running its cycles, completing the work. But we've been holding off getting a new machine uh, simply because of the cost. Um, small businesses such as ours with uh, this added expense for this new machine is quite substantial um, and we are committed to taking care of our customers um, and we've gone ahead and purchased this little beauty so this is our Robin Air AC 1234-4 that's just beautiful. Big difference being this refrigerant. That little container compared to one that's double the size in the R134. Average price for the R134 retail uh, for the tank uh, averages out to be about 800 bucks. This one is pretty much double that. So this is the not only incurring the cost of the machine but incurring the cost of the refrigerant. So the whole point of this little video is to explain to you, the consumer, when you go uh, to a repair shop and they tell you how much it's going to cost to have your AC repaired and you take a look at the pricing for the refrigerant, you are preparing yourself for a heart attack. Um, this is charged out by the ounce, the new R1234 refrigerant, by the ounce, not by the pound. So. In the 134 refrigerant, it was always by the pound. Generally, most most vehicles would take between uh, 1.3 and 1.8 pounds of refrigerant, whereas this is by the ounce. Because it's a much smaller system designed, again, to protect the environment. Uh, not a lot of shops have this machine uh, here in Oakville. We are one of the few. So if your new car is not blowing cold, you need to have some service done on it. By all means, book an appointment with us, uh, Urban Automotive, 886 Winston Churchill Boulevard, Oakville, Ontario. Safety first, guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.